So we started making our sample program that used sets, and we ran into a little bit of an issue, and so we want to finish this off. We were running this, and it gave us this odd error about a stream being closed. I have to admit I don't have a, a good explanation for this, other than I now know how to fix it. For some reason, the call to two sequence is still trying to use the stream. So, yeah, we run into issues anytime we refer to national data after that. I can force it to be, for example, an array, and then it's quite happy. Okay. So, it's going through, it's running. It's, there should be 50 lines of output here. We're not going to count them to verify that show the very basically fractional coverage of each of the states. Maybe it would be good if we also printed out the state names in here. So this would be state file dot take two plus what we had before. Okay. And I actually kind of like to know something about how long this is taking to process. Now, unfortunately the way we're doing this we're intermingling the file access, which is inherently a slow thing to do, with the counting how many things are contained inside of here. Um, and really, I'd like to separate this out, but this is something that we won't bother with too much right now. We'll try timing this as it is. Uh, but we could pull this out with a nice little yield. Sure, let's do that. So, Val, info, I don't feel like coming up with a better name for that. We'll do that and we'll yield here. And what I want to yield instead of doing a print, this is going to use a fair bit of, of memory. I am actually going to take the names, convert those two arrays and then I'm going to give back state data dot take two and names. Uh, state file. Okay. So info now is oh. I don't need to. Okay. So info now should be an array of tuples where each element of the tuple has the string for the state two letter identification and then a whole bunch of strings after it. And so what I want to do for this print now is this is going to go inside of a something that runs through all of the info. So how about I do a four and we'll call it state and s names in info. We're going to use the pattern matching capabilities of a for loop here. And so I just want to print out the beginning part of this is state. And then our count is actually going to be s names dot count the number that are contained in national data. So in rocket national data dot contains in. And we'll take that count, we'll convert it to a double, and we'll divide. We'll run this. Now we get a long pause for reading all the files, and then it does some printing. And you can see the printing didn't happen like instantly, it still had to do some work for that. We could time it. So I can take a start. You can get the time or a, a measure of kind of the current time using system nano time. And then at the end here, I can print out system dot nano time minus start divided by 1e9, since it's the nano time is measured in nanoseconds. That'll give me how many seconds it took to do this operation. Now, of course, at this point, I'm not using a set anywhere. And so this last loop at the end took 3.4 seconds. And that's because I'm doing a whole bunch of these calls where I check to see if the national data contains this. 
but contains on an array is a slow operation. It has to go through the entire thing, and that's really the area that a set should be better at. Now, sets don't have a length. They only have a size on them, so we do have to make that minor change. And if we run it now, it takes 0.04 seconds. So from 3 seconds to 0.04, almost a factor of 100 speed up. That's the value of sets. If you have operations where you have to call contains frequently, and in this case we are calling contains many, many thousands of times because we're doing it for everything in these data files that occurs in the appropriate year. Okay, so there turns out there's, there's a lot of data, especially since we went with a high year. There's a lot of data in here from 2015 for each one of these states. And so we have to go through all of those and we call contains on them. Calling the contains on a set is a fast and efficient operation. Calling on an array is a slow operation that has to go through and look at everything. So hopefully this gives you an example of how sets can be advantageous in the types of situations where you would want to use them.